What's up? It's your boy Fats. Hit that like and subscribe button for your boy. And if you're new to the channel, hit that, uh, give me a thumbs up and also hit that like and subscribe button. But yeah, in prison, you might have beef on the street with somebody and it might end up falling back into the penitentiary and you end up getting into some type of disagreement with somebody about stuff up in there like that. But yeah, one day I get up in the morning go to child, sitting at the table. I'm sitting at the table. That's when this dude named Ellis come over there. He's like, hey, Fats, you know you know JD? And I was like, no, nah, I don't know JD. He was like, yeah, he's from the town. I was like, for real? He was like, yeah, he's about to be here probably tomorrow. And I was like, shit, all right, that's cool. You know, but I ain't know him or anything like that. So I was like, shit, all right, you know, he gonna be here. So I'm sitting up in there. I just leave off, you know. <clears throat> go back up to my little cell, wait till the morning to see what's about to happen, you know, because like I said, you know, he telling me that somebody new about to come up in there. So I got to figure out, you know, who he is so I can kind of see what's going down with him. So I didn't do nothing, you know, saying all day. I just chilled. The next day I'm sitting at the child table, you know what I'm saying? This is probably about dinner time now. So everybody had already don't came in, checked in from the newcomers from another cell houses and stuff. So I um uh, sitting at the table and this dude pulled up on me, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there eating. He pulled up on me. He's like, What's up, man? You fats? And I was like, Yeah, man, I'm fats. And he's like, Shit, you I'm J D and I was like, Shit, what's up, man? I said, Somebody told me that you was gonna be coming, but I didn't know who you was and stuff. So he was like, Yeah, man. He was like, uh you know, uh, me and Angel, you know, because Angel was a girl that I kind of messed with, you know, when I first came up in the penitentiary at that time. I mean, she was somebody that was kind of wrong with me, you know. So he was like, you know, me and Angel had got a baby together and we kind of messing around and stuff. And I was like, oh, shit, that's good, man. That's, you know, basically, you know, I was kind of hurt, you know what I'm saying, that me and her, you know what I'm saying, broke up a little bit. But shit, it's kind of good that she got somebody, you know. So he was like, yeah, we kind of messing around and stuff like that. You know, we was writing this stuff each other for a minute when we first came down. But then she just quit writing, you know. But I didn't know why she quit writing or whatever. You know, she just quit writing. So uh, he telling me that. I'm looking at him like, shit, why you want to tell me that, you know? He was like, I'm just basically just letting you know that me and her messing around and stuff like that. Just in case if you happen to hear what a bug that me and her had been kind of messing around. You won't be getting upset or anything like that. I was like, shit, I ain't gonna get upset about none of that stuff because shit ain't really got nothing to do with me. So, I just get up, you know, boom, real fast, you know, because I don't really want to hear none of that stuff, you know. So, I walk back to my little cell house doing my little normal stuff, you know. So, I'm working in the kitchen at this time, so I wait to go to the kitchen, you know, do my normal stuff. So breakfast time, you know, like I said, I work in it in the morning. So at breakfast time, you know, I'm basically looking at everybody coming in there. So I'm looking at everybody coming in and child hall in the morning and stuff. So JD come back up in there. He's like, he see me. He's like, hey, fat, you think you can give me some extra food? And I was like, shit, we, we can't do that, you know. Cause at, at this time they was had everything just going through the the, the uh, thing, and you, you picked your tray up out the drop at the drop box right here. You didn't, we didn't make trays and stuff like that at this time. Man, we just slid them down the line, and they came out the hole down at the bottom of the thing. And I was just telling him that hey, we can't really do nothing like that. So he was like, all right, man, you know. So I'm saying to myself after I'm gonna say, why, why he asking me for stuff, you know? Because shit, if if anything, you know, he need to be asking somebody else for something like that. Because shit, why would he be wanting, you know? I'm just kind of confused at the time. So I get up, you know, <clears throat> leave out the child, you know. Boom. So while I'm on the yard one day, you know, I go to the laying yard. That's the morning yard, because I go out there, you know what I'm saying, on my days off, so that way, you know, get some type of fresh air, see how the sun comes up in the morning and stuff. So I go to lay in yard, and there's just dude named Ellis out there. So when I'm out there walking the track, Ellis walk up on me, he's like, hey, man, he's like, uh, 
you see JD? And I was like, yeah, man. And I was like, shit, man. He was like, shit, what you and him talking about? And I was like, shit, some old bullshit, man, about an old girl and stuff like that. He said, man, motherfuckers do that shit all the time. You know, they get a girl and they think that they on top of the motherfucking world and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, man, but shit, there's somebody that I kind of used to mess with. I used to have a lot of little feelings about. He was like, man, you don't even worry about that stuff, man. He said, shit like that happen all the time. You get a girl, you lose a girl. You get a girl, you lose a girl. So I was like, yeah, I was kind of young at that time, so I didn't really know the ropes about relationships and things like that. So me and him walking the track and, you know, just talking about, you know, me being strong and stuff like that because I was in a relationship, you know. So he was like, man, don't even worry about that stuff, you know. So I was like, shit, I ain't going to worry about it, you know, anyway, because shit, it ain't really got nothing to do with me. And he was like, exactly. It don't have anything to do with you, you know what I'm saying? So you don't even need to be putting your head up in there and everything like that. So I was like, shit, man, that's kind of cool, man. I was like, shit, I must have gone in and just really just stay away from all that stuff. And he was like, yeah, man, just go in. And just don't even worry about it, man. Just go in and just do your time. Get up out. You're going to run into her again and you and her can, you know what I'm saying, kind of figure out what's going on with that whole situation. So I was like, all right, man. So I was like, shit, man. <coughs> so probably about a week later, you know, that's when they probably give you your, uh, work detail or whatever so i'm taking my little gd at this time it's like a little slide thing you know you can go to like like at night you can go to like take your like practice for your gd tests and stuff so i was like i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna do that you know i've been doing it you know what i'm saying probably about three months anyway trying to get my gd because it's one of the programs that i had to take before i actually got out the penitentiary so I'm sitting up in there, you know what I'm saying, doing my little GED test. And one day, I'm sitting up in there, and that's when that dude JD comes up in there. He's like, uh, uh, he gonna be taking the class too. And I was like, damn, man, I gotta deal with this motherfucking nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man. I said, it's bad enough, you know what I'm saying? I got to deal with him in the chow hall and see him and things like that. But shit, now I got to deal with this motherfucker in this little two-hour class at night right here. I was like, man, fuck this shit, man. I don't want to deal with that shit. So I'm thinking about giving up, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, I don't want to uh, do nothing, none of that stuff. So one day we sitting up in there, you know what I'm saying, side by side, waiting for everybody to get up in there. And... uh He's sitting up in there, he's like showing me some pictures and stuff, you know. I was like, man, I don't want to see no pictures of you or no girl and y'all baby. You know, basically what he was doing was trying to keep me to where I can get agitated and get kind of hype and stuff like that because he wanted me to basically get mad and try to do something. But, but shit, when you're in those type of situations like that, you always got to remain calm, keep your head straight, make sure that you follow whatever intentions that you got because people will do things to throw, throw you off course so that you can get yourself caught up in a situation to where you and that person will probably end up getting into some type of issue and then the, the person that you on the other side of looking at them might be looking at you kind of bad so you just got to be real careful when you come to those type of things because people know somebody on the street all the time that they used to mess with and they end up getting caught up and stuff like that so I'm looking at him, I'm like, hey, J.D., man, on the real, man, I said, man, I, I respect you and uh, her, you and your relationship and stuff like that. I said, man, but I ain't really trying to hear none of that stuff. So he get kind of at, like, ass how with me, like, stand up a little bit, talking about, man, the way that you did her was kind of fucked up, you know? I was like, shit, what you mean? I could tell the way that I did her. He was like, the way that you did her was kind of fucked up, you know? Fast, you know you weren't supposed to be doing no stuff like that. You disrespected the game door about what you did. And I was like, what you mean by what I did? I said, shit, I ain't do nothing to her. I said, I just tried to protect myself at that time, you know, before something went kind of bad, you know, because at the time I had an aggravated shot because I ended up shooting somebody over some more stupid stuff. So I ended up going to the penitentiary because I ended up shooting somebody. And I was like, shit, I could have, you know, saying basically, you know, 
Shit, my life could have ended, you know. If I'd have killed old boy, then I'd have been in here for life. And then, man, you would be sitting up here. You would be more happier about me because I'm about to get out before you. You scared that once I get out, you know, I'm going to be hollering at her and stuff like that. He was like, man, I ain't worried about that stuff, you know. I was like, shit, whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? So I leave off, you know. Everybody looking at this kind of funny because they already know that. I'm a cool individual, and this is his first time up in here, and they looking at us like, shit, we some motherfucking clowns for arguing about some old stupid stuff, because it was stupid, you know, why would we be arguing about me and this girl and stuff like that, when I know that I did something wrong, you know that you probably did something wrong, you know, so what we both in the wrong for when it comes to certain stuff like that, so I'm sitting up here like, shit, man, this dude is really tripping, you know, so... Every day, you know what I'm saying, we go to class, you know what I'm saying, little GED class. I'm trying to ignore this motherfucker, but he always be seeing me, always looking at me and stuff like that. Now, it's this dude named P. Now, P was cool as a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, P. You know what I'm saying, we called him Pistol P. I mean, he was cool as a motherfucker, you know. P come over to me, he's like, hey, fast man. He's like, man, what's up with you and JD? I was like, man, he always tripping me about that damn girl and stuff like that. He was like, man, you know, you know how you deal with stuff like that? And I was like, what you mean, what you mean, how you deal with? I said, man, all you got to do is just check him one time, you know what I'm saying, let him know that, you know what I'm saying, that you ain't really playing about that stuff. And I was like, man, if I do that, man, then we end up getting into some type of altercation or whatever. I'm going to lose a little good time or whatever. He's like, man, in these situations like this, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have, you have to lose your little good time in order to build something. He said it's about, you know what I'm saying, Re regrouping what you're trying to do. So I was like, all right, man, you know what I'm saying? I was like, shit, I don't know, man. I can see what I can do, man. I can try to, you know, I mean, J.D. was real tall, man. J.D. was a real tall person. I mean, he, he went big and then he was real skinny, but he had long hands and long feet, you know, and he played basketball all the time. So when he was out on the court, out in the yard and stuff, I always seen him out on the basketball court, you know. I mean, he was dunking and all that stuff, do, do all type of stuff out there on the court. I mean, but J.D., I was like, shit, man, I'm going to have to figure something out with him because, shit, I hope that me and him can kind of get along. So, but like the next few days, you know what I'm saying, me and him bumping heads, you know, we going up the little stairs into the thing together because, like I said, everybody kind of long, he wait till I leave up to go up there, they want to be behind me and stuff, so I'm always got to watch my back, you know what I'm saying, every time we going up the stairs to the little auditorium over there where we're doing our GED at, so I'm sitting down doing my GED one day, you know what I'm saying, just looking over the book. You know what I'm saying? Just reviewing questions and stuff like that. So did I look up, you know what I'm saying? I see him over there with this little look on his face like. So I'm like, man, what's up, man? He's like, shit, man, what's up with you, man? I said, man, why you keep looking at me like that? He was like, I'm just checking you out. I was like, man, I said, why you checking me out, man? I ain't did nothing to you, man. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? So he's like, shit, man. <clears throat> I heard you got some 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 little beef with me and stuff. I was like, man, I ain't got no beef with you. He's like, you sure, man? You sure you ain't mad about this whole situation that me and old girl going through? I was like, nah, JD, man. I said, man, I ain't worried about that stuff. I said, I'm more worried about me. You know what I'm saying? Getting up out of here more than anything. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, why would I be worried about something that you doing when I got a lot of stuff on my plate right now? I said, shit, all the stuff I got on my plate, trying to figure out where I'm going to live at when I get out, trying to figure out what job I'm going to get, trying to figure out, you know what I'm saying, how I'm going to stay clean and stuff when I get out. I mean, there's a whole group of stuff that I had to do before I even touched down, before I ain't even worried about anything like you. I said, I'm not a can't be worrying about you right now. I got to worry about myself. So he's like, shit, man. <clears throat> he said, people have been telling me, you know what I'm saying, about, you know, you've been uh, talking and stuff. And I was like, man, nobody told you anything. I said, because for one, I don't even talk about you and no girl. And for two, you know what I'm saying, whatever y'all doing or whatever, ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know, she wrote me today. And I was like, I did she? He was like, yeah, man, she told me to tell you hi. You know, I said, I said, man, why would she, why would she tell you something like that? He said, because I've been talking to her, you know what I'm saying, a little bit and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, for real? And he was like, yeah, man. He was like, she told me to tell you hi and hope that you keep your head up. And I was like, shit, tell her the same thing, you know. And when I said that, you know, he was like, what, what you think that you, uh, 
you think that you and her got something going on? I said, nah, I don't know me and her ain't got nothing going on. I'm just a real motherfucker, you know. He was like, shit, I think, man, you know what I'm saying, you trying to uh, get, 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 get back in her pants. And I was like, man, I ain't trying to do nothing like that, man. I said, man, JD, man, I said, man, me and her went through our little spell, you know. We ended up, you know, I ended up going to jail behind her. She ended up, you know, telling on me, you know what I'm saying, with that. So I just left it at that, you know. I ain't really worried about nothing like that. He was like, shit, all right, man. So he get up and he leave off. So then, like, a couple days later, this dude named Milton come in. And I'm like, shit, man, what's up, man? You know, with him, you know what I'm saying? Because I actually knew him from the street. So he when he was like, hey, man, where that nigga JD at, man? And I was like, shit, man, he he be in a... He be on the yard or you catch him in a, the GED class. And he was like, shit, I got some beef with this motherfucker. And I was like, oh, for real, man? I was like, shit, what's up with you? He was like, shit, man... <coughs> He been messing with somebody that I know, and I was like, who? And he was like, Angel, and I was like, shit, man, damn, man, everybody, you know what I'm saying, messing with Angel. You know, Angel must have got, I mean, she was good, she was pretty as a motherfucker, she got around, though, you know? She was like, shit, man, I'm gonna need to holler at him about something, so when he said that, I'm saying to myself, damn, he about to go through the same thing that I went through with this girl. So then, like, on the yard, in the morning, lay in yard, before you get a, uh, like I said, an actual job or whatever, you got to go to lay in yard. So I go to lay in yard in the morning before I uh, <clears throat> go to GED class. So I'm out there talking to Milton. I'm like, hey, Milton, man, you know what I'm saying? What's up, man? He's like, shit, nothing, man. He said, I got to see JD. I said, man, you know, he'd be over there on the basketball court all the time. So he's like, shit, all right, man. He said, whenever I see him, I'm going to holler at him. So I was like, shit, man. I said, man, you and him, did you know what I'm saying? Basically kind of squashed that stuff. He's like, fast, man, I already know that, you know what I'm saying? You used to mess with her, too. She already told me. I was like, oh, for real? He was like, yeah, man. She already told me that you and you and him used to mess around. I was like, oh, man, dang. She already on point with that? And he was like, yeah, man. She already told me that, you know, your whole motherfucking case, how I went down, you know what I'm saying? How you did what you did, you know? And I was like, damn, man. I was like, damn. Shit, but shit, basically, you know what I'm saying, I kind of embarrassed myself over that because I ended up, you know what I'm saying, beefing over a girl, messing with a dude the same way that they doing right now, you know, and ended up getting me five years behind that stuff. So I'm like, shit, I'm going to stay away from that. I ain't going to even try to put myself in no situation like that. So then a few minutes later, you know, that's when uh, Milton come out. I mean, we already on the yard, so we walking around the track. He's like, that's JD over there, ain't it? I was like, shit, yep. So then uh, he get up, walk straight on over there to JD, and I, they, they, they right over by the basketball court. They words going back at each other like that. I'm just looking. I ain't even go over there. I ain't going to even put myself involved in none of that because, shit, the way that things went down, I'm going to have to make sure that, you know what I'm saying? I stay far away from both of them because I don't want to get myself involved in none of that. So then, that's when uh, JD was like, you know, they was over there. He got real loud, you know, with Milton. So Milton, you know what I'm saying, backed up a little bit. And you can see that they popped the square off a little bit. So then all of a sudden, they just start just start going at each other. Boom, 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 boom. I mean, both Milton was short. And JD was kind of tall, so he it was kind of, you know what I'm saying? It looked kind of funny the way that they was fighting. You know what I'm saying? Then you see Milton grab him, you know what I'm saying? Pick him up, you know what I'm saying? Boom. He threw him on the ground. They fall on the ground. Boom, 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 boom. He on top of him, hitting him. You know what I'm saying? Real bad. You know, right there on his lip. Milton on this thing right here. It cut and it started bleeding. Now you can see the blood, you know what I'm saying, just run down his nose real bad. So then that's when, you know, when he started, when he was on top of him, hitting him like that, you can see his blood just keep running down his face like that. Because JD kind of hit him kind of hard right there, bam. So then while they doing that, that's when the guards and stuff, you know what I'm saying, come over there and uh, break the little fight up, you know, do everything, got everybody, you know what I'm saying, under control, put them in handcuffs, run them out, everybody off the the yard, the black suits come out there, pick everything up. Now they out there looking to see, make sure there ain't nobody got no weapons or anything like that. 
But yeah, man, the moral of the story is, man, when you have beef on the street with somebody, it always ends up in a penitentiary. It could be something small over a girl. It could be something small over just, I mean, anything. Something that you did on the street or somebody that you know on the street might get yourself involved in something like that. But yeah, you don't want to go to the penitentiary and get yourself involved in things like that because anything can kind of happen when it comes to those situations. You want to make sure that you get up out this, the, the penitentiary and get yourself home. You don't even want to go there to even get yourself involved in those type of bad situations because it always ends up bad. You know, this situation right here, I mean, it could have easily transferred on me, but somebody else came in and uh, hollered it over and they ended up getting into it. I wasn't going to end up fighting over that, over that girl because she and me and her, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, when I got out, we ended up messing around again, you know, hanging out for a few minutes. So I fell right back into the trap of it, you know. And then on the street, you know what I'm saying? I was doing the same thing that I was doing when I uh, got into the penitentiary. So I didn't ever learn anything. So the best thing that you do is the lessons that you learn. You got to keep them to yourself and make sure that you keep everything that you learn. And, you know, say motivate yourself to be something better because you don't want to go to penitentiary to get yourself involved and stuff like that. But, yeah, this is your boy, Fats. Y'all stay up and y'all be peaceful. You might want to watch one of my videos, you know, if you can, you know, keep me in mind. If you watch them, you know what I'm saying, hit that, give me a thumbs up, you know what I'm saying, leave me a comment on something. I mean, basically, man, just show me some love like I'm showing y'all. I'm trying to show y'all. You know, this is your boy. Y'all stay up and y'all be peaceful.